Now, even as the new BJP president and, of course, the finance minister Arun Jaitley go about attacking the Congress party at the National Council meeting, uh, the Samajwadi party has come out to back Congress vice president Rahul Gandhi, who has once again raked up the issue of the communal flare-ups in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Party leader Gaurav Bhatia directly blamed BJP for recent communal incidents in the state. He called it the Saffron Party's planned attempt to advance their electoral gains in the state of Uttar Pradesh. This comes on a day that Rahul Gandhi himself had come out to say that it appears that the communal flare-ups in the state of Uttar Pradesh had been engineered. We have Amir Haq joining us on the phone line for more on the story. Amir, we are seeing the Congress and the Samajwadi Party speaking in one voice against the BJP when it comes to polarization in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, could this be a realignment of sorts? Well, it is not surprising that uh, Congress and Samajwadi Party would actually parted ways after the parliamentary elections now seem to be on the same page when they talk about uh, the politics of polarization uh, by the BJP, especially in Uttar Pradesh and Western Uttar Pradesh. But, uh, you know, right now it should not be seen as an inkling of uh, both the parties coming back together again. Okay. Uh, but definitely, uh, over the last three, four months, the way things have happened in Western Uttar Pradesh, we talk about Muradabad, uh, Saranpur, or uh, uh, recently Meerut. And uh, the way the BJP spokespersons and senior leaders have come out and said that uh, some kind of a love jihad is taking place uh, for forcibly converting young uh, girls belonging to a certain community by young members of another community is definitely right. something which is disturbing. And therefore, the Samajwadi Party and Congress Party, they've come together to, uh, to, to thwart all attempts by the BJP to polarize voters especially ahead of uh, the by polls in 12 assembly constituencies here in Uttar Pradesh. Absolutely, Amir. The facts of the alleged gang rape and forced conversion in Merit appear to have taken a backseat and the Congress appears to be floundering when it comes to its political options in the state of Uttar Pradesh. But remember, this comes in continuance to what the Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi has said earlier. He described the communal incidents in Uttar Pradesh as deliberately designed and artificial. Rahul, who had led a Congress offensive in the Parliament, was demanding a discussion over the recent flare-ups, has described the communal strife as a ploy to divide the poor. He attacked what he also called the politics of promoting polarization and divisiveness for electoral gains. The Akhilesh Yadav government and the BJP, remember, have been trading charges over incidents which quickly took on political colors. And the Congress vice president also raking up the issue, hoping to gain some mileage from it. Parliamentary Affairs Minister M. Vankaya Naidu had earlier dismissed the Congress allegation of polarization.